the last tour with new content is officially here in Mario Kart Tour, however the game will still continue with amazing content coming back forever. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more Mario Kart Tour coverage here on the channel. So as usual, the first thing that we will do is react to Gold Mario's special skill. Okay, so obviously it would make sense for it to be coin box. By the way, we get 48 uh, rubies from these challenges, really nice. Um, it would make sense for Gold Mario to have coin box. However, in the trailer, he also has this sucking in coin vacuum mechanic, which may be, may be his secondary ability. Um, but here we have all the new tracks. Honestly, I don't even know which ones are new. And let's see, where is he? Oh, he's right here. Okay, so he has this render. I actually did not know that this render was official by Nintendo. I thought it was fan made, but it's a beautiful render. Let's see what we have, what he has. I think it's coin box and coin vacuum. What? Is this a joke? Nah, bro, that's embarrassing for him. <laughs> I'm thankful it's not coin box, but what the heck? So he will be able to, you know, draw coins into him and he'll also have a fire flower skill. Ugh, no, thank you. <laughs> No, thank you. Nintendo really did that. Wow, that's funny of y'all. So first things first, let's analyze the new commemorative slash paid banners for this tour. First up, we have is the Black B Dasher Mark II. Okay, so the B Dasher cards have a pretty decent hitbox. They're definitely big cards. I was thinking about getting this cart, but there are so many items that I want to get this tour, so I'm just going to wait until this returns back in the spotlight shop. And of course, the cart skill never matters, so don't worry about that. Second paid banner that we have is the Rainbow Bells Glider. I feel like this looks so tacky. Um, it, of course, it's all city coverage, you guys. Don't worry about city coverage anymore. Cities are not bad anymore. City value, it's okay. Uh, it shouldn't hold you back from investing into a glider. The one thing you want in any single glider is coverage. Um, it has a Mega Mushroom Plus scale, which is not too good, to be honest. Um, but we'll see about its future value. So the, com the commemorative packs are all new items, interesting. There's usually one that's returning, but this time they're all new. Then moving on to the spotless shop, we have is such an all-star set over here. We have as King Mario, the Royal Flush, Luigi Gold Knight, and the Monarch Cart. Literally, I love everything Monarch related, so I'm definitely gonna have to pick that up. I love the design of it. Chef's kiss, literally. So the Royal Flush is here. I literally have to get this as well. Such a beautiful design. Uh, the view box of this glider is going to be pretty tiny so you can actually see where you're landing after gliding uh, it has a bullet bill bullet bill plus skill which is great for coin boxing in first place next up we have is mario king a really controversial driver i took him to level six verse first day and the first few months that he was released um first like five six months he was not that good and then after that randomly like in april onwards he had a major spark in value and now he's pretty good so I'd say just get him and he looks so cool. Literally my favorite design character in the entire game. Um, very nice. Then we have his Luigi Gold Knight. I feel like he's a bit irrelevant. If you like his design, just go for him. But other than that, he's he hasn't gained any great value. And then we have the Monarch cart over here. So dope looking. I don't know how big its hitbox is, to be honest. Um, I'm hoping it's big, but I don't think it is. It may be smaller than the Mark II, to be honest. Um, but... Let's treat ourselves to some items. So the Royal Flush, I just have to get this. So cool. Oh, look at that. So cool. And then we have the Monarch Cart. I have to get this dude. I did take the um, Mint Soft Swerve to level 7 Triple Cap last tour. Because again, that cart looks so nice as well. So this one might go to 8, you know. Um, and then for my Elite Minions, every month my Elite Minions get to vote for an item that I should get in their name. This tour, they voted for the Chain Chomp Chariot. So when, whenever it shows up in the spotlight shop, I will definitely pick it up for them. Um, but here's a daily spotlight. Call, Pauline Cowgirl is back. Wow, Daisy Fairy is here. Okay. The Koopa Clown Me Suit. All right, I don't really care about Mii's anymore, you guys. Now that the, the content's ending, I think I'm gonna stri um, leave the Mii meta, to be honest. Just because I wanna start investing into characters I always wanted to invest into, like Waluigi Halloween, Peach Halloween, uh, Rosalina Aurora, King Luigi's Mansion. And I feel like the Mies would definitely kill my strategy on doing so. Uh, because I want to start enjoying the game now. 
and I don't really want to be a whole meta simp at this point. So the gold premium challenges are officially here featuring the gold monarch cart. Very nice. Then we have is the ranked awards. Wow, gold Mario and the gold Mario's hat glider. So he's going to be in week one and two. Really cool. I like that. Um, I don't know. Are you guys going to still invest into him? Because he has fire flower, man. That's terrible. Wow. Um, so it says, in addition to the fire flower skill, gold Mario has the ability to draw in coins. Let's see what they have to say about this. The gold Mario appearing in gifts for placing high in the ranked cup has smaller radius for drawing in coins than the gold Mario that appears in coin rush. I'm glad that they, um, noted that, but if you guys have been following with the, um, data mines, we already knew that. So two cups are officially here. The Kamek cup, wait, no. The gold Mario cup is here. Okay, last cup ever. And then we have the gold gifts, which are lackluster, and the King Mario badge. Wow. Uh, and it has been confirmed that they're not going to be releasing new ACR badges. So starting this tour, they're all going to be recycled, which is unfortunate. I got this badge last year, and it's an incredible badge. So if you missed on it, then definitely get it. And now it is my favorite time. Let's sit back and react to the ranked cuppy, guys. Let's see what we have. Will you guys be able to get gold Mario this tour? I hope you guys could. Um, let's see you guys. Holy moly. It's officially that time. We have Athens dash three, New York minute three T Madrid drive three. What I'm hoping for this ranked cup. Oh, I also really want DK gladiator to be honest, you guys, I missed out on him. I really want him now. What I'm hoping is that the Halloween characters get some unique tracks for my account because at this point, I don't care. I'm down to take peach Halloween, Rosie and Halloween, Wallabee of Halloween to level seven. Because they're just so cool. The characters are really well designed. Uh, but let's see what we have. Let's go to Athens Dash 3 first. Let's go. Um, holy Shy Guy Galore. But the gold me suit will take them all over. This is why I don't like me's. Seriously. So I guess I'll be using the gold me. In, uh, disappointing, but cool. Uh, ooh, the gold monarch cart is here. So I could take it to level 8 and it'll crush everything. Um, and the royal flesh as well. Really nice. Cool. Oh, wow, look at these loadouts, by the way. So royal. I like it. Then we have New York Minute 3T. Rosina Halloween is here. Oh, Rosina Halloween is here. Oh, so I already decided that I won't. In oh, Sunshine Mario is here as well, so I think I'll use him. He's one ticket away from level 6, but I decided I don't want to invest further into Gold Wiggler, Gold Luigi Knight or any of those type of characters because I just don't like their designs at all. Uh, but Rosina Halloween, cool, she's here. Um, Pauline is also here, very nice. Sunshine Mario as well. Um, here are the cards, really bad. Uh, yeah, not that good at all. For now, let's just select the ice cream minibus. I like the design of this. Oh, and then the star shoot is here. So this is an old track, cool. Loadouts are not the best, but they could definitely be improved after some investments. Then Madrid Drive. Three. Oh my gosh, yes. Wow, clutch. So clutch. Daisy tied 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 dresses here as well. Wow, I'll take that. Oh my gosh, damn, nasty. Let's see if this unlocks it. Please tell me it unlocks it. At level eight, hey. That may just happen. It may just happen. And then we have is wow, gliders are terrible. Does this unlock Madrid Drive 3? It does not. Sadly, it does not. Holy moly. Okay. So our loadouts are not the best this ranked cup. Let's see next week. Please be better. Okay. Let's go to Sydney Sprint 3RT, which... No, let's go to Amsterdam 3, because that's an old track. Um, Tuxedo Mario, Rosalina Bolandam, cool. Always loved her design. Yoshi Eikun is here. Um, so yeah, cool. Wow, the ice cream minibus twice. And this has been everywhere. What? I may have to get this as well. Hmm. Okay. Gliders we have is, ooh, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. That's much better. Now let's go to Sydney Sprint 3RT. King Mario, yes. Peachet. Peachet's here. Kamek is here. Ludwig Misu is here. Wow. Nice that I get to use Peachet. I love that. I mean, not Peachet. <laughs> King Mario. <laughs> not Peachet. Oh yeah, the mint soft swerve is here. Beautiful. I like that. The other options are pretty nice as well, like the dolphin dasher. Huge, massive, big boy cart. And then we have is... Wow, they're really killing me with the gliders and the royal flush is utter garbage. 
Oh, come on, bro. Come on, just get some value, please. At level 8? No, I'm not going to take it to level 8. Hell no. Okay, you guys. The boy's struggling a bit. And then roll Mavanti 3. I wish this track is only for DK so I can invest into him. Because so far, my driver, inv driver investments are not looking too bright this tour. I it may be another saving ticket tour. Unless they give me the opportunity to invest into this gladiator. Yeah. Ho oh, ho. I can invest into him. Now, I mean, I could also go with Gold Chuck, but he's ugly. And DK just looks nice, so I want to invest into him now. Yes, I'm so happy. Cool, 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 cool. Gold Mario is also here. Pichu Kata is here. And Pauline Kyogre. Okay. Oh, wow. Overlap. Gold Shielded Speedster is here, but I think this cart again will overtake it since I want to take it to level 8 and quad cap it. It's going to be mighty. And then we have is the wonderful Garnet. Okay. Okay, still going strong. Um, and the other buffs, I'm probably not going to look over them. Uh, there's just too many new tracks. Let's see what we have here. This track looks so promising on the teaser. And I just love the soundtrack for this as well. It's so subtle, yet so amazing. Ooh, wow. The fuzzies are back, nice. I really did underappreciate Rome when it first debuted in the tour, um, but I really love this track now, to be honest. It's really good. Honestly, maybe one of my favorite stage tracks for some reason. This is a really tiny cart. Just have to point that out. Because Pauline is a heavyweight driver, and if the cart looks this small with her, just imagine with Shy Guy Ninja or Shy Guy Explorer. It's going to be tiny as hell. Oh, this is cool. The indents on the ground. Wow. Okay. If this track is not good for a boomerang, I might just use gold chuck on it and save my tickets. Um, but I do still want to pick up DK Gladiator. So I'll let you know all my um, ruby spendings and my ticket spendings this tour via Discord. So join that. To stay connected. And of course, I may also go live this tour just to show you guys my investments. Or if you guys want, please let me know. What do you guys like a video of me just investing to stuff? For example, like me putting 14 tickets into Halloween Peach or something because I just love her design so much or Shaga Ninja taking him to level 8 someday. I think that would be really fun. And now let's go to Madrid 3, another goaded soundtrack, another goaded city track. I enjoyed this track so much uh, last month when it came and I just loved grinding on it to be honest. So let's see how this third variant goes. I hope it's great. Please be great. Uh, let's see. It's back so soon, and I love that. Okay. So already looks like it's going to be great for Coinbox. So you tie Daisy investors, enjoy this track. Ooh. Oh, there's a new area here. Okay. Also seems decent for Boomerang. And Lucky 7, of course. Wow, the Hammer Frenzy's trash. Oh, Coconut Mall vibes. Hello. Oh, I just realized we're going to go in the museum. Oh, here it is. That's it. They had a whole unique soundtrack made for the museum section and they they literally made us go into it for like one second, I think. Wow, they could have easily expanded that. We don't need the, all this street section. Y'all could have easily expanded the museum, man. And shortened this nonsense part. Oh man, but it is good for what it is to be honest. Double coin frenzies by the way, cool. Um, okay. And this section reminds me of Coconut Mall of course. Okay, and the museum, we're back into it again. You can't even take it all in, that's sad, but it's a nice little detail I must say. Look at the museum and this little thumbnail art, so cool. Uh, so just reviewing the cups over once again, this is the anniversary tour, last tour with new content. Um, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support throughout the past few years. Roll the outro. Thank you guys once again for watching this video and I appreciate you guys for being here in the premiere. I would definitely appreciate it if you guys keep attending premieres even though new content is ending, my reactions will continue. And of course, if you keep interacting with the channel, you could get entered into a future giveaway where I will give away, of course, one of my custom plushies. And speaking of awesome support, we have as my elite minion members, the KFAT, Nand, Comfy, Maxi, J, Chris Clark, and Manu Elin.
Thank you guys, all my Elite Minion members. Y'all support definitely helps power the channel and keeps me going so much. Appreciate you guys so much. Keeping us, awesome, me guys. Stay hydrated, and I'll see you in the next video whenever that is. Bye bye.